Hello, this is Andre Battles of How and Why, the Bible Answer Guy, with another devotional from our book, Jesus Calling. Jesus is saying to you, let him be your God. I mean, why not? He's your creator. And some of you still have a problem embracing that. And I think that that's why he can't be your God. Because if he's not your creator, what's the point of listening to him, <laughs> right? If he didn't create you, if he doesn't exist, then why would I consult him about anything that's going on in my life? See, the word God is sovereign, power, it's authority, and it's rank. And he's saying, look, all of it belongs to me. Authority, power, and sovereignty. It all belongs to me. So stop and think about why you're running around in circles trying to figure things out when the God of all power is offering you opportunity to just simply put him on the case. That's what you lose when you think that you got to thug it out on your own. When you feel like you can't consult God because you've dissed him so often or you've discredited him so often that now, although you do feel an inclination to go to him and ask him for help, well, you don't because you felt like, well, maybe I've crossed that line. Listen, let God be your God. <laughs> let Jesus be your God. What will it cost you? Less headache? Less stress? In fact, remember when you were a child, how many headaches did your parents put in your hands and say, well, this is delegated for you to handle? For example, here's the bill for the cable this month. Uh, little Jimmy, uh, little Sarah, little Lucretia, and uh, we need you to go ahead and pay that and uh, be on time. Now, we don't know how you're gonna pay it. You don't work, but you've got a deadline of two weeks. Well, that's really what you're doing when you don't let Jesus be your God. You're telling the one who has unlimited resources that I can't utilize them because I don't believe you. I don't think you exist. What do you have to lose? Why don't you try something outside of your comfort zone? I'm challenging you to trust God. Why? Because duh, it only makes sense. Just like your parents would not have asked you at 12 years old to pay the cable bill and be on time. On top of that, God is not asking you to handle none of your business. You are trying to do that. He never asked you to. He's a gentleman, so he knows how to back up out of the way and let you spin around in circles until you get tired of messing up. But trust me, you're tired already. Oh, once again, this is Andre Battles of How and Why. The Bible Answer Guy with another devotional from our book, Jesus Calling. And I'm just grateful that you are about to type amen in the comment section. Why do I know you're going to do that? Because I have faith, of course. And when you do, you'll give me a chance to share with you the prayer line that we have every morning on Zoom. I'm really excited about it. I'm encouraged to share it with you. And I can't really wait to do that. So go ahead and type amen so I can. All right. And by God's grace, I'll see you right here tomorrow.